Good morning grade 11 students. I am Ma'am Maika M. Gutierrez and I will be your math teacher for today. Welcome to my statistics and probability subject. Before we start, let's first seek the guidance of our Lord as we go along with our lesson for today. Let us all stand for the prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of life today. You allow us to have another day to praise you and see your glory. Thank you for the love and protection, especially this time of pandemic. Bless us, Father, with your wisdom as we begin our class. Help us to focus our hearts and minds on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we think and listen. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. Lord, we thank you and let your will be done in our lives. We ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. To give an idea of our topic for this morning, you will play a game called Four Peaks in One Word. Are you all excited? Great! I will show you four pictures each slide and you will be given five seconds to guess the word that corresponds to those pictures. Are you now ready? Let's now begin! For the first slide, what do you think is the answer? The answer is measure. How about for the second slide? The answer is position. Next is The answer is divide. For the fourth one, the answer is distribution. Next, the answer is one hundred. And next, The answer is equal. And for the last one, the answer is parts. If we're going to put together all the words and make it in a sentence, the measure, position, divide, Distribution, 100, equal, parts, it will become the measure of position that divides a distribution into 100 equal parts. And that is the meaning of percentile. You have learned already about finding the mean and the variance of the sampling distribution of the sample means. And now, our new topic is about percentile and the t distribution in this lesson you will explore and understand the t distribution and identify the percentiles using the t tables before we discuss percentiles and t distribution let us be familiarized first with these words first degree of freedom this refers to the maximum number of logically independent values which vary in the data sample Second is percentile. This is the measure of position that divides a distribution into 100 equal parts. And now, 
I will introduce to you the T table which you can use to find the T value. So we need to be familiarized also the uses of this table. Here in the left side, the 1, 2, 3, up to 30 and beyond, that is what we call the degrees of freedom. And ito namang nasa taas, the 0 0.40, 0 0.25, hanggang 0 0.0005, that is the area. Area in the right field of T distribution. Ito namang nasa loob, ayan, that is what we call T values. Ayan, so let's repeat. Ito nasa left side, that is degrees of freedom. At yung nasa taas naman, 0 0.40 up to 0 0.0005, that is the area in the right tails of T distribution. At yung nasa loob naman, that is the T values. Okay, so let's recall the uses of the T distribution. T distribution is the use for the following reasons. First, when the population standard deviation is unknown. Second, the sample size is less than 30. So, we have here our first example. Determine the T value based on the given sample size N and A. First, kunin muna natin yung mga given natin. So, ito yung given natin. N equals 17 and A equals 0 0.005. N is the sample, sample size. And A equals 0 0.005 is the area. Or the area in the right field of T distribution. So, to find the T value, we need to have the degrees of freedom and the area. So, sample size yung given dito. Para makuha natin yung degrees of freedom, ito yung formula. DF equals N minus 1. Babawasan lang natin ng isa yung 17 para makuha natin yung degrees of freedom. So, meron na tayong this degrees of freedom na 16 at area in the right field of T distribution na 0 0.005. So, how to use our table? First, tingin muna tayo sa area of the right field, which is 0 0.005. Ayan. So, ito yung 0 0.005 natin. Next is the degrees of freedom, which is 16. Ito naman yung 16 natin. Kung saan sila nag-intersect, ayun yung T values natin. Ayun. So, ano ba yung t-values natin? The 2.92078 or i-round off natin into 3 decimal places magiging t equals 2.921 Ayun. So, ganun lang kasimple. So, for the second example, find the values of T for which the area on the right tail of the T distribution is 0 0.10 and the number of degrees of freedom is equal to 4, 12, and 19. In here, our area on the right tail is 0 0.10. And using the degree of freedom of letter A, which is 4, so yan yung 4 natin, the T value is 1.533206 or i-round off natin into 3 decimal places magiging 1.5333 that is our T value for degrees of freedom 4 for the second one the degree of freedom is 12 Yan, and the T value is 1.356217 or round off natin magiging 1.35 Six. For the letter C, the degree of freedom is 19. So, the T value is 1.327728 or round of natin magiging 1.328. So, ganun lang. Ayan. 
For the third example, find the 99th percentile of the tea distribution with 18 degrees of freedom. The area of the entire curve is 1. This implies that the area to the right of the 99th percentile is 0.01. Okay. We all know that the total area of the T distribution is 100%. So if it is 99th percentile or 99th percent, so the area to the right of 99th percentile is 1% na lang or in decimal form, that is 0.01. So kung 98th percentile, 0.02. Kung 95th percentile, 0.05. So, dahil, dahil right field, tayo nagpo-focus lang tayo sa area to the right. And, uh, makikita natin sa graph na buong area ng left is 99%. Or 0.99. And, yung nasa right area is 1%. Or 0.01 na lang. So, from 0.01, yung area na lang ang hahanapin natin kung anong t-table siya. So, gamit yung mga given natin, which is 99 percentile or 0.01, yan yung area natin in the right field area. And the degrees of freedom, which is 18. Ayan, yung degrees of freedom natin, area 0.01. Degrees of freedom, 18. So, the intersection is... 2.55238 or a round of natin 2.552 that is the T value so hence the 99th percentile is 2.552 that means the T value of 2.552 has 99% of the area of 0.01 to its right and so using the table you will find the 99th percentile is 2.552 for the fourth example, find the 98th percentile of the tea distribution if the sample size is 25. The area of the entire curve is 1. This implies that the area to the right of the 98th percentile is 0.1. In here, the area in the tea distribution is 0.10 or 0.1. Alisin lang natin yung 0 sa dulo. We can see in our graph the unshaded part is 90% or 0.90. And the shaded part is 10% or 0.10 or 0.1. And another given is the sample size, which is 25. Bawasan lang natin ng isa para maging 24 yung degrees of freedom niya. Or we have the formula N minus 1, 25 minus 1 equals 24. So, tingin tayo sa area in the right tail of T distribution, which is 0.1. 10. Ayan. And the degrees of freedom, which is 24. Ayan. So, therefore, the T value is 1.317836 or round off natin magiging 1.318. Hence, the 98th percentile is 1.318. For example, number 5, what is the area to the right of 1.323 under 80 distribution with 21 degrees of freedom. Okay. So, in here, the T value is given. And also, the degrees of freedom. Ang hahanapin na lang natin is yung area in the right tail of the T distribution. First, punta tayo sa degrees of freedom. Ito, which is 21. So, dito natin hahanapin yung 1.323. Ayun, yan. 1.323188 or yung T value natin. So, therefore, ayan, yung area to the right of 1.323 is 0 0.10 or 0 0.1. Pwede 0.1, pwede 0.10. Okay, for the last example, we have what is the area to the right of 2.4 under 80 distribution with 7 degrees of freedom. So, 
Um, dito, ang given is degrees of freedom at saka yung T-values kasi ang hinahanap is yung area. Kapag ganito yung problem natin, ang, ang una natin hahanapin is yung 7 degrees. Ayan yung 7 degrees. From here, ang next naman na hahanapin is yung 2.4. Kung mapapansin natin, wala tayong mahanap na 2.4. Ang 2.4 ay nasa pagitan ng 0.025 at 0.02. So, pwedeng maging ito na yung sagot natin. The area to the right of 2.365 is 0.025 and the area to the right of 0.517 is 0.02. The area to the right of 2.4 under the T-distribution with 7 degrees of freedom lies somewhere between 0.2 and 0.025. So, pwede nyo na maging sagot yan. Or kung gusto nyo naman ng eksaktong sagot, Pwede naman, gagamit tayo ng application, software, or website. Example, sa website na ito, yung www.statdistributions.com, na ibigay niya yung exact na sagot, which is 0.024. So, try natin explore. Um, I-minimize muna natin. So, ayan. So, this is yung statdistributions.com. So, pwede yun siyang i-type lang. Ayan, tapos, ang given sa last na problem is 7 degrees of freedom. Right tail tayo. So, degrees of freedom is 7. So, yung t-value natin is 2.4. So, yan na yung, ano, yung area. Yung area is 0.024. Ayan. Ito sa statdistributions.com, ibibigay niya yung pinaka-exactong sagot na hindi mo na kailangan pang tumingin sa t-table mo. Okay, so, let's try to check. Check yung mga previous examples natin. So, ito. Sa unang example natin, meron tayong um, area na, area di ba yung given sa una? Meron tayong area na 0.005 and meron tayong DF na 16. Yan, the um, degree of freedom na 16. So lumabas na yung T value is 2.921. So tama na masasagot natin kanina. So let's check pa yung next na um, example natin kanina. So dito ang given na area is 0.10. So, ito yung area natin, which is 0.10. At yung first na degree of freedom is 4. 4. So, yung unang T value is 1.533. So, tama naman. So, same naman sa area na 0.10. Iibahin lang yung degree of freedom, which is 12. Ayan. Ang lumabas is 1.356. Tama naman yung letter B natin na T-value. And the last one is the degree of freedom which is 19. Ang lumabas na answer is 1.328. So, tama naman. So, ganun. Kung gusto nyo i-double check yung mga answers ninyo, you can use the statdistributions.com. We are done with our discussion for today. And now, you will have an assignment. All you need to do is to complete the table by identifying the degree of freedom, write to the area in the key table for each percentile and the sample size. I will give you 15 minutes to answer it. You may now begin. A few minutes later. Okay, let's check your answer. For degrees of freedom, this is the answer. For right-tailed area, this is the answer. For the t-value, this is the answer. Okay? For your take-home quiz, please answer this. And for your assignment, please answer this one. Hope you learned something today about percentile and the t-distribution. Again, this is Mom Micah M. Gutierrez. Stay safe and be blessed. Thank you!